I know you see. Winter fall. All right. Welcome to episode 35 of the Awkward Tapes. Hey. Hey. Hi. Yeah. Sometimes, dude, I just don't know how to start these. Dude, that's okay. Just don't pull a Presley. We don't need the awkward pauses. You're right. Well, hold on. Well, speaking of awkward pauses, uh, it is Presley's time. To, if what, you think oh about it. Oh my gosh, it, yes. the awkward pause. Dude. Yo, no, we no. just need, oh, when, Presley we, when we upgrade the merch, yeah. we just need like one of you going like this, and it just says Ooh. awkward silence on it. <laughs> oh, then on gosh. the back, if you think about it, dot, dot, yeah. dot. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. All right. Give it to us. All right, but if you think if, about it. If you think about it, when you say forwards... Or backwards, your lips go forward or backward when you say those words. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. Forwards, Wait, backwards. Wait, for backwards, how do they go? No, when you said backwards, backwards, your lips. Four, when you say backwards, uh, back. But forwards, they start forwards, back, then they backwards. go forwards. Yeah. But the four, back. That's the only part where it's. Yeah. yeah. Word, forward, is that's fine. Do you say back like. I don't back. know, but I got all of you to just make faces, so. Back. I mean, we do that no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Fair enough. Okay. Well, At least you have hair. That should be on a shirt. I say that so much. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Essentially. Well, essentially. essentially. Uh, well. Okay, you know why that's actually really funny to me? Because we've talked about vocabulary and stuff like that, <laughs> like how that's a step above. Saying essentially is literally a fancy, fancier way of saying basically. Yeah. So it's yeah. like essentially. a more. Yeah, essentially. Like, yeah. You know, it's a better word. Yeah. To, you know, well, basically. It's, well, yeah. your vocabulary oh, is a direct correlation God. to wisdom. It is. It is. We need that on the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys for coming back and being a fly on the wall and listening and watching or fly on the camera in this case. Thanks it's for scaring fly. the crap out of us, Presley. Appreciate it. You're you the wall behind us. <laughs> scared all of you. Yeah. Stick around because we got a lot for you and prepare yourself for a session of awkwardness. All right, so I had a dream the other day that I want to share with you guys. Like Martin Luther King? Uh, nope. It was a sleep. <laughs> it was a sleep dream. Oh, oh, okay. oh but it also no. it, it part of it also doesn't uh, isn't in this dream. Uh, um, okay. And so what? there was it was it, it's hard to explain. You'll understand. All right. So this was one of those dreams, and I don't have these often, but I remembered like pretty much everything of this dream. Wow. That's um, rare that, for you. Yeah. A lot of times we'll have dreams and it's just like snippet, like just a little bit of it that I remember. I remember pretty much all of this. So, and I had to write it down on my phone because I didn't want to miss anything out. So if it feel, if it sounds like I'm reading a script, I'm sorry, but I just had to get all the information in there. I'm ready. So this, this was the dream. So I was like, I was in an office mm-hmm. and I was wearing like a button down and in khaki. It's like you would, you know, wear to, wear to work or something. So like, okay. Um, office casual. Yeah. And so I'm sitting at like this desk in like a cubicle and there's like a bunch of cubicles in this big room. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I hear my name and so I, I, I like get called to this office. And so I go into the office and there's this long table in this wide room. And it's all guys with white shirts on and jeans and like <laughs> slick back hair. If you've ever seen the movie uh, Outsiders, it not. looked like that. Okay. The so, Outsiders is like, have you seen the Outsiders? No, sadly not. Yeah, they all have like they wear like white shirts and like jeans. It's based on like the so a, a, so a bunch of greasers. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. It's, that's no, what that, it looks like. That's what they're called. Oh, yeah. 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 That's actually. the name for it. Um, because uh, grease. Yes. No, because well, like the uh, grease in their hair. Did, did you think I said like a curse word or I something? I thought that. I, a I slur honest, I, I'm pretty. I could be wrong here. I'm pretty sure that's a slur. Greaser is no. not a slur. No, it's, it's not a, a slur. It's, a, it's not it's a, a slur. It's a group of people. I promise you. No, it's like you, pro- okay. you know, like the All John right. Travolta look or yeah. whatever, like yeah. in his movies. Greaser. No, that it's it's a greaser look. It's more of like a '50s. It's not a here. I'll Should agree really? for you to double check. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know we're taking away from your story. Yeah. I'm just this is what I'm talking oh. about. Like the white shirt. Yeah. yeah. Okay, because I was always told that that was a slur and not to say it. I'm gonna start using it as a slur. They were wrong. 
Okay, maybe don't do that. <laughs> but just sorry, no sorry. Well, no, no. Okay, I sorry. Oh, you're the such way a that we're using it is not offensive. I guess it could be used as like an offensive uh -huh. thing for like a Latina or Latino guys. But we this mean no isn't. Offense, so. the, no, this is like the yeah, person. Sorry, <laughs> a greaser as in greased up hair. Anyway, this went on for too long. <laughs> Shmep, your story. Should have seen my face when you said that. I was terrified. I will say it's not. It's not yeah. a slur. Okay, so now we're all on the same page. Your your dream. You're in this room, <laughs> slick back hair. Face. What is that? <laughs> okay. Alright. So yeah. Uh just to remind you, uh I was <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to the awkward table. It was in this office, long table, yeah. everybody was dressed the same. Cool. Um I remember like their faces didn't look the exact same, so it was like different people, but they all were they were dressed and their hair was the same. So I sit down at the table. And there's like this big buff guy, like really strong at the end of the table. I'm guessing he was my boss. And so he starts just screaming at me, like telling me I messed up and stuff. And so uh, long, long story short about that part, he ends up firing me. Um, and so I remember like going down an elevator and I go through this lobby and I go outside and I started walking on a sidewalk, like on my way home. It was, I don't know where I was. Um, so then I go into this house that I've never seen before. I get into a bed that I've never seen before. Uh -huh. And I was like sad. I just went straight to bed because I was so sad I got fired. This is just sad now. Well, okay. So that is kind of the end of the, the dream. Okay. So back to reality. Um, my alarm goes off. And so I'll wake up. Mm -hmm. And you know how you're sometimes you're in such like a deep sleep and so, the dream seems so real. Mm -hmm. It takes you a second to really realize what happened was just a dream. Yeah. So that's what happened to me. Um, so it took me a few seconds to realize that what just happened wasn't a dream, but not not all the way. Wait, what just happened? What what just was happened? In a dream. Was, was a dream. in a dream. Sorry. Oh, yeah. But like not all the way. So okay. I get out of my bed, and so I can I, I tell myself I'm like okay yeah that that wasn't real it's it's fine that was just a dream. So I get out of bed. <laughs> I get out of my bed, and I go to my closet, and I start putting a button down and cat on. <laughs> no way. This, I'm not kidding. I go to my closet. I'm starting to get ready for this work, for this job. You're kidding me, so dude. So I'm standing there. I'm getting dressed. I'm buttoning my shirt. Yeah. What the? And then it hits me. I don't have that job. <laughs> Oh my word. What? So so when I woke up, I didn't think the whole thing was a dream. I thought just getting fired was a dream and started playing out this dream as a reality. Oh my god. Even though the room, man. the bed, everything oh. else didn't match up. Yep. Okay, I get it. Could you imagine if you would like started <laughs> oh, to like like God. slick your hair slick back. your hair yeah. back and then you're like, all right, dad, I'm off yeah, to work. Yeah. And he's like, wait, what? <laughs> what? No, you <laughs> walk downstairs. Your dad is in jeans and a white shirt. Oh, oh no. God! But that dream messed me. I was sitting there and I'm like so tired. I, I remember rubbing my eyes and I like open the door. I just get this shirt and khakis on. And I'm like buttoning him. And I'm, I'm sitting there and I sit there for a second and I'm like. Wait, <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, that's crazy. hilarious. I that that happened. I want to say that was maybe Wednesday, and yeah, I couldn't. I had to save it for the podcast. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, Wait, I've had wow. a few vivid dreams like that before. I can't remember all of them. Now the dreams I have had oh. were always like nightmares, though. So that was a bummer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now, I've been having some pretty. Like I said, I don't have many dreams where it's just like I remember everything like that. But I've been having a lot of dreams lately. Um, I had one where, who was it? It was you, where you said you were always being chased. Mm, I had one, yeah. I was on the main road here, yeah. and I was running down the middle of the road just sprinting. sprinting. Yeah, and I didn't know what was behind me. That was the other day. Were you running just like that? Probably. Before. I was booking it. Yeah, <laughs> I was running on late. You had it to where you end up hiding somewhere? Like, and I've they didn't those. see you, mm -hmm. but they yeah. know you're there. Yes. Yeah. That those are the worst. The worst. The worst. Oh, and the dream ugh. never ends. No, I had you just one keep where, running. Yeah, your heart's racing. Yep. I had one that it, I can still visualize it, but it doesn't make sense. Huh. It's like everything's in black and white, and I'm like, 
flying uh, between these buildings. And I'm having to maneuver myself, right, go through this Spider-Man? building. I don't know if maybe I'd played Spider-Man the day before hmm. or something you, like that. Do you ever get that feeling like after you wake up from a dream? Like you don't remember what the dream was about, but you just have a feeling attached to the dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah, you yeah. have to kind of do something, but you don't know what you're supposed to do. Yeah. You, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's I've very had, strange. I've had dreams before that like affect my day. Yeah. Oh, definitely. And I, I don't know why sometimes. I just feel weird. I've like had something like, happened. Yeah. I don't know. I've had like really sad dreams before mm-hmm. that just mess with me. Yeah. yeah. It's um, pretty bizarre. I had a dream one time. This is the oh my goodness. So uh without getting into too many details, my grandparents who both passed away, they went to the church I went to and I was like with uh a, like the youth group and um we're sitting there and the door opens, no one was there, and so like someone closed it. And then um as Presley is is the mic not mess not working? No, it's good. Okay. Um and so the door opens again a second time. And then, um, um, yeah, they closed again. There was like, oh, they're like, that was weird. Uh-huh. And it opens a third time. Yeah. And then for some reason, we all go out there and we're like investigating why the door is opening. Yeah. So we go around the other side, we go back into the room, and my grandparents are just there, like sweeping the floor. <laughs> but yeah. for whatever reason, yes, I woke do. up and my whole day was just like, like just odd. Because huh. it was, yeah. I, yeah. like, Seeing your, they they say you you don't really a lot of times see like, uh, um, ones that have passed on their face in a dream, yeah. And that doesn't really happen to me. So it feels so cool right now. Yeah, what happened? I, yeah, what are you doing? I got bud? tired of like leaning forward, so I'm just I'm just gonna do this. Okay. You're gonna hold your mic. That's right. Okay. All right. You know, yeah, I'm tired. Anyway, of... let me ask you this. Okay. If I'm going to have a relaxed, free-flowing conversation, I want to be comfortable. Hold my hand. It, that is not oh. comfortable. Me and Presley hold hands outside of the podcast, just so it's you know. It's a joke yeah, because was, we don't. I was wondering what was happening. I thought that we were about to do like a musical number and you were just getting ready to hold your oh. mic. Do you think oh, it was one of those know. uncoordinated well, things for you again? We, one of the, oh, I don't know. We Honestly, need to coordinate so a musical to where oh we're just having gosh. a normal conversation and then just something happens and everyone else is in on it. We have like a dance set up and everything. Oh, Guys, I, that. I am, let me tell you, I, I tell my us. entire life have been the butt <laughs> of like most jokes. And it even happened today. What? My what is on your thing? phone? No, I'm just messing. It's it's a mic mic holder. Yeah. And I'm just kind of messing. No, go ahead. What are you anyways, saying? is so, your finger named Mike? Yeah, totally. Um. Okay. So, anyways, what <laughs> what happens is like, <laughs> for instance, you guys know know that I give reactions, and not all the time they're forced. Like most of the time, I just either get scared as heck, or I just have a genuine reaction that's kind of funny. So today I walk it through here. Am I allowed to tell the story? Can yeah. I tell the story? Yeah. yeah. It's just, gonna, don't, okay. just don't spoil like the show. Yeah. yeah, totally. Totally. So um these guys wanted to film a TikTok and wanted to get in on it with me, but decided not to tell me. And I walk through the halls and all of a sudden all the lights turn off and I'm like, well, that's bizarre. And then scary music starts playing Which and is I'm from like Stranger Things in yeah, this season. Yeah, and these guys know this is why they're 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 their boobs. Um, they <laughs> know. Why did you choose wait, that? Wait, 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 wait. What? I'm more concerned about the, the insult what, the, that you the, the insert, You ever seen the Icon insult? or Drake and Josh? Yeah, that, that, exactly. No, yeah. that's like the insult. Miranda the Cosgrove. Okay. She says that all the time. Okay. Why did you choose that? It was the only one. It was the only one I could think of that was. I'm like, happy well, to be a boobs. You were, uh, you were obviously thinking of it anyway. This is getting weird. Yeah. Anyways. Well, Anyways, deal with it. So, um, I, go, I start walking down the hall, scary music's playing, it's dark, and I'm just like, guys, this is not funny, because I know, I know in my head, logically, I'm like, this is a joke, this is going to be funny, they're doing something, I don't know what it is yet, but 10% of me is still, still scared as heck. Mm-hmm. Like, I can't get over it, I don't know what it is, my body's just like, yep, you need to run, but my head's like, nah. Yeah. You're good. I end up running anyways. Yeah. Go uh, go follow the awkward buds on TikTok and yeah. maybe you'll see that. It'll be on yeah. there that was some point. that was a genuine well, reaction. By the time this episode's uploaded, it mm-hmm. it will be out yeah, there. Yeah. Oh yeah. I ran down the hall with a stick. <laughs> it was a mic stand. <laughs> it was a mic stand, but anyways. Yeah, got to love that guys. Thanks. You're Thanks. Well, Appreciate dude, it. Yeah, it's just the reactions you give. Are oh, yeah. amazing. Well, for example, my favorite one, and we need to do this again eventually, was when we came up with that presentation. <laughs> oh, that was and the best. We did 
uh, Presley's favorite bald people, and that we was made awesome. a presentation for it. Yeah. I know we. How did I don't that think happen? we actually have oh, that told was... the story on the podcast. No. That was we the, haven't. That was just like it might have been a long the time night ago. you were coming no. over. You were gonna be late. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> and thanks. <laughs> we were just like, you know what? Let's let's do this thing. And so I made a presentation really fast, and Presley got on some some nice clothes, and uh, you know Evan was taking notes, and I ratchetly put a tie on. Like as I can't like. When Zach got there, like we had planned this ahead of we time. We had hung we tr- out for a good, you know, 10, 20 minutes. Oh, yeah, we waited. We were just, mm-hmm. well, we planned it ahead of time before you got there. We just threw it together, didn't know ahead of time we were going to do it. And so, anyway, um, we stashed like a notepad under the couch. Oh, yeah. That, when I got up to do the presentation, I, I connected my laptop to my TV. Mm-hmm. So it was like a yep. full PowerPoint thing. Yep. And as I came out, he was putting on a tie that I was under the couch. I had no mm-hmm. idea what was going on. And then, like, I threw you a pin. <laughs> Oh, As yeah, I so came that out, that was the best part. I threw yeah. a pen and I was able to catch it. <laughs> like you caught it, and I was like, "Oh, here, I got you." Noah, remind us. We'll show you that full video later. It is amazing. There, I was dying. Man, there's a, it was so funny. There's a clip of it on the awkward buds. Mm-hmm. So you, it? yeah, there's oh, a small clip just of it. the part of you on there. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty funny. There was there, a top ten left. That was probably one of the greatest friends moments I've ever had. Just wait, with you guys. Just wait. Oh, don't, it's don't get. No, we it. we need to do it again. If, like, we'll do it again at some point. We don't know when it will happen, yeah. but at some point it will happen. The again. night of your wedding day. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. You go, yeah, we'll wait. get we'll get Zach's wife in on it just as soon as you know the wedding's over and whatnot. Yeah, <laughs> just, she gives the open, presentation. The night they open of the, the door. Oh my gosh. No, Zach is still just number four. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite <ball before. laughs> That, is that so was the cruel. best part too. Right, is, the, yeah. Zach is Presley's fourth favorite bald person. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even top. in the top three. <laughs> but you're in the top five. <laughs> Doesn't that, you're in the top fine. ten. It's fine. It's the, fine. This is what I always tell my closest friends: is if I'm messing with you, you know I love you. That's right. fair. That, that's just yep. how I've always worked. Yep. That's that. When people talk about different love languages and stuff. Your love language is kind of either pranks or just messing with them. Yeah. And if you can't take yeah. it, I'm sorry. It just means I love you. That, that's yeah. just how it is. So if you just get m- messed up and have dreams about it and are scarred for life, just know it's out of You are my closest <laughs> friend. <laughs> if I clock you, if I just absolutely deck you, just know I love you. Okay? Yeah. It's out of love. Wait, me? Yes. Can someone get that on video? Because that's content. Please. What? Again, Shmev, oh, this will is how do, I think uh, Shmev will do anything for content. At this point, I really will. There's not a lot of warm. Kind of warm it up for you. Yeah. Yeah. So have oh, you guys seen any good TV shows lately? <laughs> Stranger Things, which I uh, know uh, oh, we can't well, talk about. When that we all when we all see it, Layton needs to watch the last three seasons. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, he hasn't watched like any of it. You just want to binge it together because I can't remember okay. the past four. I, I <laughs> highly recommend doing what I did because you haven't seen it in so long. Yeah. Just rewatch it. I can't remember anything. Yeah. Even when I watched um, the s- season before this one that mm-hmm. came out, I remember like I don't remember half these people. Really? Yeah. I was like, yeah. I don't remember any of the story leading up to it. I was just over. This is... Um, and a and, friend had it planned. And I don't think this... This is not any spoilers because the uh, the actors talk about it like in interviews and stuff. This season ties together every single thing that has happened. And, really? Yes. And every other... Well, they've had time. Oh, yeah. Because the last season oh, yeah. came out, what, three, three years, years ago? In my, in my opinion, they... The, the, it's taken them a lot of time, but mm-hmm. I'm cool with it. Well, you can tell it's taken a lot of time, like yeah. the the like CGI and stuff, and all the special effects stuff. You can tell it took time. Well, the first half of season four was spectacular. I mm-hmm. thought it was great. Great writing. It was great. Four great execution. Five. Four. Oh. Which five will be the last season? <clears throat> they they're going to be. Uh, they're going to be. In college by yeah. that time, they're like gonna be full 30. on adults. Well, I saw uh, some TikTok video that was saying like what age they were playing mm-hmm. versus what age they actually are. It's like three or four years older. Mm-hmm. The oldest yeah. was nineteen. Yeah, and he's playing like wow. what a 15, 14 year old, fourteen or fifteen. Isn't like completely out of reach. Yeah. Hey, Tommy well, McGuire was a high schooler. I was gonna say to yeah. be fair. I mean, do you 30. remember the show like Hannah Montana? Hannah Montana's mm-hmm. brother. He was supposed yeah. to be playing a yeah. teenager, and he was in his mid thirties at I, the yeah. time. I didn't know that. That guy he doesn't was, age. He, he played it so well. Yeah, and he looked young. It, it's like the guy from our car, uh, Spencer from iCarly. Yeah, he's oh, like yeah. in his he's early forties right now. Jeez. He he looks good for forty. Yeah. I mean, he does, yeah. but still, 
When he yeah. when Jason Earls did uh, another Disney original, Kicking It. Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh, oh, I, I remember that, that show. show. And they made like fun of how old he was. I was like, wait, no, that he's, completely he's, flipped it. He's not that yeah. old. Oh, like yeah. I think he was playing his actual age, which yeah. was mid like forties at that point, mm-hmm. early forties. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. That was a good show. That was I like that show. Yeah. I had completely forgot about that show until you mentioned it. To flip flop back to your w- what your original story was because mm-hmm. I just remembered I had this thought. Do you ever, um, speaking of like waking up with that feeling like you have to mm-hmm. do something, I usually end up getting that feeling when I've forgotten to do something, mm-hmm. like at work, mm-hmm. and then I'll be like, I was supposed to do something. What was it? What was it? And then it comes to me. Yeah. Now, I hate the mornings where, like I've woken up on Saturdays before, and for some reason, because I just don't like to sleep too late, especially on the weekends, because I'll just, I'll just feel like... You just don't like to sleep. I don't like to sleep. That's uh, that's not. I'm not even kidding. Um, I just yep. feel like I'm missing out on stuff. But uh, on the weekends, I'll set my alarm. But every time I wake up, I just like. Sometimes I freak out because I think it's like I look at the time and it's like, oh my gosh, it's nine thirty. I was supposed to start work an hour and a half ago. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's happened to me every I, now and then. I feel like that happens to everyone at some point. Mm-hmm. I've definitely had oh, yeah. those days to where I wake up and, like you said, nine thirty, and just like. Oh my gosh! I'm get, today's the day. I'm fired. I'm gonna walk into the room. It's gonna be a whole bunch of people with the slick back hair. They're all gonna be wearing their white shirt and jeans. <laughs> well, no, That's gonna be uh, it for you. <laughs> another scary one is I woke Zach up. This we uh we stayed at Presley's last night. Oh, this morning. Yeah, and yeah, uh, that was uh, that was funny. Zach was still asleep at like I don't know thirty minutes before he was supposed to leave or so. So I was gonna wake him up, and I started knocking on stuff and like because I didn't I don't want to scare him too bad, and yeah. I, finally I was just like Zach. And he like woke up and he went, whoa, 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 what, 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 what? <laughs> Apparently, what'd you say? I sound like your dad. Yeah. So my dad, anytime that he's trying to get me up, he does that same thing, and I'm still not waking up. He goes, Zach, Zach, and then I always freak out because I think something's happening or he's mad at me because that's like the worst way to start your morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And how, how cool is it that Jerry Seinfeld's your dad? Dude. You know, I gotta say, um, meeting Jim Carrey was pretty cool. Uh, you know, just the oh. general life of a star has been pretty nice. You, you know? said that, and I was like, you didn't tell us you met Jim Carrey. <laughs> no. <it's, laughs> no. Okay. I wish. Yeah. You had a dream about a job you didn't have and then got up and got ready for it. Yeah. <laughs> that's completely you, fair. You know we're going to give you crap for that, right? Oh, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how much crap you can give. I think it's hilarious. It, it is no, hilarious, but like. <laughs> I'm just going to say, Shmev, you're an idiot. <laughs> that, yeah. You know. There's a lot of crap we can give you that it can't it can't I won't, can't I've, top mine. I've accepted it. Yeah, I will say one of the cooler people I have met. Speaking of like that Jim Carrey thing, I did meet Mike Wolf one time, and I know Evan has oh, yeah. too. He's a really nice guy. He lives in like the Franklin area, and well, I'm sure that's public knowledge. Who cares? Um, and he lives so, in Middle Tennessee somewhere. Yeah, Middle Tennessee somewhere. And I saw him at like a farmer's market, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's Mike Wolf. I think I was like 15 and I walked up to him and he was like, oh, hey, man, how's it going? I was like, mm-hmm. can I get a picture? Cool guy. Yeah. Franklin is south of Nashville. Yes. Yeah. No, yeah. When me and Presley saw that, that, that's, that's a fact. Yeah. When me and Presley <laughs> saw Sadie Robertson in that coffee shop. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Because growing up, well, I'll say growing up, you know, middle school, she's like one of my celebrity crushes. Yeah. Like, I thought she was so pretty. Who, who wasn't? <laughs> right. And so we're just standing there. We're just standing there in this coffee shop line. And I just happened to, you know, kind of, I could tell there was a line behind me. Oh. So I just turn around and I look at her and I'm like that. His and I turn back around <laughs> and I start like hitting Presley like this. <laughs> like, and what? it's like, Shady Robertson is right behind us. <laughs> and he's like, no, she's not. It just looks like her. He turns around. <laughs> it makes the same face yeah. yeah it was her but the cool thing about it you know i expected that people to start going up asking for pictures and stuff no one was no. like people were kind of you know glancing at her because obviously no, you know who she is yeah no one was going up and bothering her or her husband yeah. and they were just like respecting their privacy i thought that was so cool that was, is pretty nice that was very respectful that. which they probably don't get that lucky all the time oh no 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 but, they uh, probably their their whole family is, well, once yeah. once it starts, um, one yeah. person gets the confidence yep. to go up and right. do it, once and then everyone does it. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, since they are, I'll, I'll go too. Yeah. yeah, You know they're starting a new show? Yeah, they Duck, are. Like Duck Dynasty people? Yeah, they they are? they're starting a new show. Yeah. No, no way. way. Yeah, it, it's, what is it called? 
I think it has duck in it. Yeah, no, can you look that up? <laughs> Dig it. I think it's like a maybe an HBO Max original or something like that, yeah. or Netflix original. It's, it's not all of them. No, I only oh. saw Cy, Cy, Willie, Willie Jeff, Jace. And, and Jace. It, uh, I don't think Phil's in it. Yeah. Oh, that's a bummer. Duck Family Treasure. Duck Family Treasure. Duck that's family what it is. I can't wait to see that. I love does, that show. Does it say what it's on? I don't know. We're going to wait for it. Uh, it's I'm, on TV. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Hulu. Hulu. Okay, it's a Hulu original. Hulu. All right. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of other people that have met famous people, I won't say the name just because he's my classmate and I didn't run it by him. But there was this classmate of mine. He's a real big country guy, um, absolutely loves country music. And since we're in songwriting, that's mostly what we've been writing with him with. And so um, we or not we, he was in a grocery store and saw Carrie Underwood in line. He mm-hmm. was like, oh, my gosh, this is amazing. I love Carrie Underwood. And so he walks up to her and he says, Listen, I'm so sorry. I'm sure you get this all the time, but are you Carrie Underwood? And she was like, yeah, yeah, that's me. Mm. And he's like, I love your music. You're a huge influence of mine. I just think you're great. And he said, I'm actually going over to the school, uh, over at the school in which you recorded an album, and or not an album, but uh, a music video over okay. there. And, and she was like, oh, yeah, that's great. That was a really cool experience. And she was like, well, good luck with you. She was heading out, and, and he was like, oh, yeah, thanks, y- y- you too. Mm-hmm. And then she just she just kind of turns around at him like, <laughs> really, dude? <laughs> like, good luck? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah then he, said, he looked over to her and said, I know. <laughs> huh. I, I'm it surprised she would do that. What? Like, just turn around and be like, really? No, no, she thought, I th- I'm pretty sure she thought it was funny. Okay. Like, okay. like he just told Carrie Underwood, good luck with yeah. her music. <laughs> you know yeah, what I, I mean? I've always made fun of this before, but. We went to this restaurant recently. Waitress said, "Enjoy." So you too. And I was like, "Yeah, oh. Oh. that's the worst." That yeah happens all the time. My favorite is with "Happy Birthday." I was like, "Oh, Happy Birthday!" And you're oh, like, you "Oh, too. you too, man." You too. <laughs> oh, well, whenever it is. My birthday too. Yeah, yeah uh, come have a slice. Okay? That would be hilarious. They just turn around. They're like, "It is my birthday." But the only time I can really do that is, ironically, I could do it with Presley in a sense mm-hmm. because oh, our yeah. birthdays are two days apart. Yeah. So we kind of could do like a Happy Birthday. Oh, you too. <laughs> See, I mean, it would only be a couple days off. So I mean, hey, it's, yeah, it's pretty, true. pretty accurate. I just I, want to throw out there that it's been, you know, almost two months, and I still haven't gotten you your gifts. They're just sitting in my room. Do you actually yeah. have them? I actually have them. Okay. Well, I, I am mean, legit serious. I'm, I actually have them. I'm coming over to your house later today for a yes, for your parents' party. You right? are. Yes, yes you he's are. Still gonna forget. And you're invited <laughs> still gonna to. Forget. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, hey, you're invited to. Um, yes, they are on Main Street, and <laughs> yeah, it just docks you. Main and Ninth. Yep. I was gonna Main say Ninth. Yeah, obviously, like you know, Aqua Tapes. Part of it is we're named because we're named that way. Hold on, let me rephrase. <laughs> oh my just, god, just start over. Well, no, one not. of the reasons we are named the Aqua Tapes because it's we all feel this. like we are kind of awkward in our own way. You oh, know? we are. So mm. for me, it's like. Um, like I'm, I'm kind of a shy person, as Noah probably could have guessed when he first met me. He actually said that. I feel like I've warmed up to you some, though. Well, yeah, but well, it, well, yeah. Noah but, said it in a nice way. I want to say it's not like Noah just came up to you and was like, "You're shy." No, I, I don't take <laughs> uh, many things offensively. Well, I was just saying. Um, so pe- j- Noah's a nice guy. Just he's yeah. a jerk. No, he's terrible. terrible. Did I have to clarify? That? Okay, Wait, but no. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no. yeah. So one of my things is it's hard for me to like really meet someone right off the bat and just connect with them and it takes me a little bit yeah. or someone that I haven't seen in a while it yeah. just gives me I don't know I get a little anxious so the other day there was this guy I haven't really seen him well I haven't seen him in a little bit and he had a cup of coffee in his hand and I saw him and he's like oh hey what's up Did I you said, tell him that caffeine was a drug and that he shouldn't be drinking it no. right I Definitely. said I said hey <laughs> nice coffee <laughs> No, you actually said that. <laughs> nice, oh my gosh. dude. I get so nervous. I don't uh, know what wait, it is. Instead, of, instead of like the Wii Sports, like nice hit or nice punch, <laughs> nice, nice coffee. coffee. Oh, yeah, I gosh. said, I said, I nice coffee, cringe. and he goes, oh. Thanks. I was like, <laughs> That's about the reaction I, I expected. I just immediately, right after I said that in my head, I was like, Smav, you idiot. <laughs> and That's he was awesome, like, he was like, yeah, yeah, it's from so-and-so. And I was like, oh. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> that That's is cool. awkward. <laughs> yeah. Golly. Oh, well, if you um, didn't know before, we're about as awkward in here as we are outside yeah, yeah. this room. So. Yeah. Oh yes, for real. We're we're not just extra awkward for this. We are we're legitimately this awkward. Although I have a feeling that 
no one really has trouble believing that. I, I think they all believe it. I yeah. think we've proved how oh, great we are. It's pretty authentic. It's I am so, so excited for the day we start our gaming channel. That'll be oh interesting. Oh my goodness. Hopefully mm -hmm. that will be very soon. Honestly, Layton has good Wi-Fi. He could start. Yeah. I know. I wish. The, okay. Why is this always the case? The, <laughs> can we just say, we agree he's the best, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Definitely. Why is it always in yes. every group? Yeah. yeah. In every group, there's that friend that is the best yeah. with the worst <laughs> internet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, it's atrocious. Like, it's awful. You get, yeah, I don't word. know if this means much to people. Your ping is decent. Like, what, 18? 30? 18 to 18 is amazing. That's solid. That's, really that, that's not just, that's Download really is like, what, five? Upload is one? Not even. It's 0. 0.5. Oh, that's that gosh. Is megabits per second. Terrible. Wow. So you can play the game, bits. but as soon as you try to download or upload anything, yeah. it's just it takes. Yeah. A That's millennium. why. So like, whenever we have to upload the podcast to YouTube and, yeah. and Anchor and stuff, I always have to put it on a thumb drive and give it to Presley, who has good internet. Yeah. Um, and it's always a hassle. Or just give him my laptop as I. Yeah, or we if we times. forget it. But yeah. That's hilarious. I love. It's always a hassle. I love seeing back to the awkward thing. I love seeing Presley in awkward situations. Basically, oh, oh. just my life. It is. He's comfortable. That's that's Hilarious. the best TV show you'll ever watch is watching Presley and in an awkward conversation. What are I can, you thinking of right I can now? sense it. Are like, you serious? Dude, yes. It's like when someone says something that's so outlandish you don't know how to respond, you're just sitting there with your hands in your pocket with a weird smirk on your yep. face trying your hardest not to laugh or say something <laughs> stupid or offensive. It's amazing. There was one time it's here. It's better than TV. Yeah. Oh. There was one time here recently. I can't remember where we were. We were somewhere and there were <laughs> there there were a few people around. And there was like a couple people talking to you at once, and they were just high energy. Yeah. And you're sitting there with your hands in your pocket, and you like laugh, and you go, <laughs> "I'm uncomfortable." <laughs> <laughs> but I can't remember where oh, it was. Man, but that was pretty awesome. recent. But yeah, oh, like man. you're kind of like me in a sense where if you don't yeah. know someone or if you haven't seen him in a while, it kind of takes you a little bit. It does. And oh, so when that happens, I can just tell you yeah, are so yeah. uncomfortable because I I like. Um, I riff off of other people. I don't really mm -hmm. initiate mm -hmm. conversation oh, yeah. or anything. Like conversation has to be going, and I can participate pretty well. But I mean, unless it's a bunch of people talking at me at the same time, then I'm I'm just uncomfortable. Yeah. But that's the secret, is to stay uncomfortable. <laughs> See, that's tough. I don't understand right. how you do it. Hey, it's you. I not mean, easy. You kind of embrace the awkward. Sometimes. I do. I have to. I have no choice. <laughs> Nope, yeah. not holding your hand. Yeah, we and Presley do hold right. hands quite a bit. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. I think we're about out of time for today, aren't we? Okay. I think so. But I have a good note to end it on. Okay. And I'm not going to give an awkward silence, so I'm just going to jump into it. Okay. I think if you, um, speaking of like meeting people and all that, we've had a couple people, like mm -hmm. n n not to brag or anything, but we've had a couple people come up to us and recognize That's us, at school, yeah. which is a really cool feeling because yeah. a lot of the times they're like, oh, I love your podcast. You guys are so funny. And we've gotten comments, people saying like, oh, my day was not going great. And now it's not so bad. Mm -hmm. That's a good feeling. That's a very good feeling. So, or thank even you guys. better. Oh, yeah. Thank thank you to really, our audience. Really, really appreciative. Um, and no, what's even better is when someone you have never met in your life walks up to you and is like, oh, my gosh, I love your podcast. Yeah. Can I be on it? Hi, Aww. nice to meet you. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, you know? What's funny is, is I've had people that I haven't talked to in four plus years yep. that have DM me the past six months uh, yeah. asking to be on the podcast. Yeah. Exactly. It's all about that clout, man. Just people want to grab it and right. run. Right on with yeah. But no, there was... So just really quick, the first time someone came up to me, I was in a class at college, and I was sitting there, and this guy kept looking at me. Yeah. Like the whole class, this this one specific class. Yeah. Yep. And so I had to give a presentation that day, and you know as I'm presenting, I'm looking around, and this dude's just like looking <laughs> at me like that. And so after class is over, he comes up to me. He's like, "Man, I have been trying to figure out the entire year." Why you look so familiar to me? And he was like, I was on TikTok the other day, and one of your videos came up, and I'm like, he's in my class. <laughs> this guy's in my class. That's he said it That's just 